Hey guys, how's it going? It's Michael DAC7 here. How are you guys today? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at the Scuf Gaming Infinity Pro controller for the PS4 and Xbox. This controller is obviously shaped like a PS4 controller, so I'm not really sure why you would use it as an Xbox player, but hey, to each their own. This controller I've had plenty of time with since I've gotten it. I've had mixed feelings about it ever since I've had it. From the beginning until now, I can honestly say that I really enjoy this controller and I think that it's worth the purchase if you're interested and you have the extra money. Uh, I would say pull the trigger on it, you won't regret it. The controller is essentially a PS4 controller with two extra paddles on the back that you can remap to any of the face buttons from the front. On my controller, I have the left trigger as uh, circle and the right trigger as X. Uh, actually, wait a minute. I have the left trigger as X and the right trigger as circle. My apologies. Uh, but you can customize it to whatever you want. You know, you could do square or triangle or, you know, L3, R2, whatever configuration you want to do you're more than welcome to do it you have that ability with the scuff key which is the little magnet that you put on the back of the controller and it allows you to remap the two paddles on the back to whatever two face buttons on the front that you'd like scuff allows you to customize the controller completely you can do different colors different accent colors button colors you could do trigger stops you can add the control disc, which is something I chose to do because I was never a fan of the PS4 D-pad. And I will say that I love the control disc. It's essentially just a circular disc that was put on top of the D-pad, but it really makes it more intuitive and it's a lot easier to reach to the D-pad and press the buttons. It feels a lot more natural than it otherwise was before. You also have the ability to interchange the thumbstick height. When I was customizing the controller on their website, I had asked for two mid-rise concave thumbsticks. When I received the controller, however, the left stick was a mid-rise stick and the right stick was a normal short stick. Additionally, I was annoyed because it wasn't what I ordered. However, it allowed me to add my control free galaxy taller stick to my right stick so now my right stick is actually slightly higher than my left stick but i have the nice grippy galaxy stick on top of my right stick and i really love this configuration i spoke with about the issue and they told me that they were going to send me a set of mid-rise sticks so that i could interchange the stick that they had messed up on and I did that and I actually didn't even like it. I, I preferred the shorter right stick with the addition of my Control Freak Galaxy thumbstick on it. And I can say that now that I've had the controller for about, I wanna say almost two months now, I w could never go back to playing on a regular controller. I mean, that's technically not true. I have played on the Xbox since I've had this controller. If you give me enough time in Playgrounds, I can adapt to whatever I need to. <laughs> but for the most part, I prefer the paddles on the back to a regular controller now having used it. I will say though, in the beginning, it was extremely frustrating and I severely regretted my decision to get this controller because I felt like a complete bot. My buttons were all messed up. It just, it didn't feel right. It felt so unnatural at first and it took me a good like two or three days of gaming to like really get used to it. But once you do get used to it, I promise you, it is far superior to using a regular controller, unless you're using Claw. If you're someone who can play Claw, then I would say do that and don't spend the money. But I've tried to use Claw in the past and I could just never get used to it. So this was the alternative for me. And I think it's a worthy alternative for sure. The main thing that you're essentially paying for with the scuff controller is the ability to jump and aim at the same time. Sounds fairly simple, but in game, it makes a huge difference. The biggest difference you'll notice once you have this controller is your ability to 
track your opponent while jumping. It's just a lot more fluid. Your movements feel a lot more natural. You feel like you have a lot more control over your character in game. You especially notice it while jumping down. You can jump down off a build and move directionally. Previously with a regular PS4 controller, you would have to take your thumb off of the right stick to press jump. And that split millisecond, it sounds maybe a little bit ridiculous and one of those things where you have to just try it and trust me, but I promise you, it really does make a difference, at least for me. I feel that my gameplay has gotten so much better since I've had this controller and I've gotten used to it. I have so much more control, my aim is better. Overall, I think it's a worthy purchase. It will take some time getting used to, but at $150, it's a little steep, I'm not gonna lie. If you don't have the money for it, it's not a necessity. But if you have the extra money to spend and you're looking to up your gameplay, I would definitely recommend it. You have the ability to customize it completely to whatever you want. I chose just basically the bare bones options with the exception of adding the scuff key so I could remap the paddles at any moment if I so choose, although I haven't even remapped them. I did at the beginning to see what I, configuration I'd like, but the configuration that it came with made the most sense to me and I haven't changed it since. So if you're looking for a custom controller, if you're looking to try out the paddles on the back, give it a go. And that's really all I've got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I've been having so many more solo gameplays with like eight to 10 kills since I've had this controller. So I'm gonna keep using it. I'm gonna keep enjoying it. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you're looking to consider using the control disc versus the D-pad, also would highly recommend that. That's probably one of the best changes I made uh, in the customization process. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.